Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Or ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Rugby. Jammer claws. And Shag the Magnificent Elf of Old. Chris Jammer, Jangle Jingle. Yes. And Shag Dog, the Woodshop Worker of Miracles. Uh, he plays with his wood all day. Funky Buddha, Last Snow. Coconut Coffee Porter. Mm. Ale with natural flavors. That sounds good. He almost out here. Old Jammer, Future Jammer. Yeah. Oh, jammer. <laughs> Alright, All right, there, Jim. Alright, there, Shag Dog. Alright, so we're down now. That was me doing my. Future Jammer. Yeah. I don't think you're going to sound like that in the future, though. No, uh, because I pick up an accent and I sound. Uh... But when you get old, you should do that. <laughs> Well, you gotta always, you know, be coughing and then have to spit. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so you either have to have a spit cup or a oh, why pa is that? Why paper is that? towel. Because you got phlegm. Uh, why? When you're old, you get phlegmy. I probably want to make it along the way my lungs are now. Oh yeah, you make it because they cut out a good portion. <laughs> All right, this is Funky Buddha. Last snow. Yes. On the back of it, it says, uh, goodness within, made with natural flavors, roasty, nutty, and creamy, for optimal taste, enlightenment, refer to the date on the bottom. Right, and I am surprisingly shocked. Uh, Beer Advocate gives us a 99. 99? What Amer the hell? American Porter, 6.4% ABV. It's uh, considered a... Uh, American Porter, yeah. Uh, rotating seasonal. Funky Buddha Brewery, which is in... Somewhere in Florida. And it says, like I said, it says refer to the date on bottom for the taste enlightenment, but they don't tell you if should you drink it before or after. Yeah. This is last no coconut coffee pour. Is when old. it was born or so, when it was, uh, uh, yeah. you know. Like and then it, it says missed you. Well, it has to be after. Missed you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, it's an ode to the special time in Florida where the needle dips just south of 75, even for the briefest of moments. This rich creamy porter is layered with coconut and freshly roasted coffee for a taste that recalls winter's wonderland, even if in our state, that's just a state of mind. Yes, a state of mind. Let's do this. All right. We got a dark. It's very dark. Yeah, it's dark, dark, right? That's darker than I've ever seen before. Darker than the night. Right, we would definitely need Rudolph for this night. Yes, we would. And it's got a nice beige head. Yeah. Right? That's true. Beige head. Um, oh, I smell the coffee. And then right after that, I got a whiff of that coconut. I got the coconut, too. Uh, Did you get it first or before the coffee? I got it at the same time. Oh. Uh, have yeah. you, we ever done this before? I can't remember. I think we have done it before back in the day, mm. but here we are, you know. I, yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to tally up how many uh, uh, beer reviews we've done. Yeah. So we could do a special one, right. you know. Oh. Uh, somebody told me about these guys. I don't think I've ever done it, but... Somebody I used to work with said their their rye beer, whatever the hell their rye one is, is really good. Funky oh, yeah. Buddha rye, whatever. Which I don't like rye beers usually, but me neither. I usually don't like it either. Yeah, but but for being a local beer, I haven't seen too many Funky Buddha. There's like three or four, maybe five. Well, look at all the beers on our list. Yeah, I'm that's just true. Yeah. Let's give it a taste. I'm ready to go for it. Right. This actually almost reminds me of, uh, what is it, Kona Brewing's uh, Coconut uh, Porter. Coconut one they used to have. It. Yeah. yeah they, they, I don't think they make it anymore. But this has uh, a smell of coffee in it. So. Yeah. Oh, that's just too bad. This music. This is supposed to be Christmas music. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. So I don't understand that, Jammer. How can someone message you, and you message them four minutes back, and they don't respond? 
because either they wanted to just message you and that's it. That's it. They don't want to respond to anything you have to say. That's it. They got their point across. And that's uh, it. Yeah. Or uh, they just threw their phone down and kept going. Or they don't care. Uh, All right. <sighs> oh, I'll just wonder. That's the girl who wants to spend her life with me. Uh. Is all of it going to sound like that? Hell not. Oh, uh, hell with uh, this shit. Let's just sing our own songs. Alright, let's get back to the beer. You know what it almost tastes like? Tell you quite honestly? Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like an almond joy. Almost, yeah. Has kind of like a almond flavor of coconut and yeah. coffee. Coffee. Nice flavors. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Exactly. Know. Wait, almond joy or is it the uh, uh, what bounds? I don't know. Sometimes they you both, feel like a nut. They both have sometimes coconut. Sometimes you don't. Right? Right, both bounds have, have nuts. Oh, no. Almond, no, almond joy almond has nuts. nuts. Mounds don't. Yeah. Where does the mounds come from? Mounds is mounds, coconut. Mounds of coconut. Yeah, mounds of coconut. Oh, let's see. There's a little mounds look like little nuts, right? Mm-mm. Because the mounds, when it has nuts on it, has a mound, and then it has another mound, which makes it look like a deformed titty. Because <sighs> everything I see is sexual. Yeah. I never really cared too much for almond joy in their mouths, but I could, I could eat them. Yeah. I always loved the commercials, though. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. And as soon as that shit came out, 70s, late 70s, mm -hmm. early 80s, gay jokes abound. Oh, I'm sure. Um, personally, I didn't mind the almond joys and I didn't mind the mounds because I like coconut. That's what I want to do with a like, top 10 candy bar. Top 10 candy bar? Yeah, that'd be hard. Should yeah. we grade this first? Yeah, we'll do and that. And then do like that? First. Yeah. I think I could do it. I mean, I've had some good ones, which I don't have anymore, mm. that I've liked, mm. used to like or whatever. But, yeah, let's grade this first. I think this is actually a really good coconut coffee porter. It has the coconut. It has the coffee. Yeah. It is a porter. It's good. Yeah. Um... I'm not big on coconut porters myself. I'm not really a big coconut fan. But for what it is, you know, I'll give it a, a B plus and a swallow. I'm actually going to give it an A. I want to give this a 99. A minus. And a swallow. I mean, the color's there. The smell's there. It even has some lace in even though I think the lace is waste. And like you said, it almost tastes like that Kona Brewing uh, coconut one they had. Yeah. Coconut porter they had. Was it a coconut porter? Yeah, it was like cocoa. It was called cocoa porter. I forget what the hell it's called, but. Uh, let's look. I'll look right here. You looking it up? Yeah. They don't make it anymore, I don't think. I haven't seen it in years. Mm hmm. They're playing it. Cocoa Brown. Cocoa Brown. And what do they say that is? That was a brown, American brown ale. Yeah. Which gave it the nutty uh, flavor. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah, this is a porter though, right? Yeah. Just that coconut taste is similar though. But this has the uh, the uh, coconut and has the kind of like nutty yeah. flavor in it, you know? Because like I said, it tastes almost like almond in there. Mm. I like it. Like I said, an A minus and a full swallow. I'm good to go. Thumbs up. There you go. So, top 10 candy bars. Yeah. Now, when you consider candy bars, should we set some ground rules? Like what? That it has to be an actual bar, or can it be square or it, it cluster? Be square, yeah, because some of them were considered candy, even though they weren't bars, like chunk. 
chunky, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't really a bar, but it but was... But it was a good... Big piece square. Of, square, yeah. Yeah, can't, we'll consider that in the candy bar category. Okay. So, I mean, uh... What I won't consider in the candy bar category is a Reese's Pieces buttercup. Yeah, peanut I don't... Butter cup. That's a butter, peanut butter cup. Yeah. With a wrapper around it, so... Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Okay. And I'm not a big fan of uh, artificial peanut butter or peanut butter. I mean, butter. I like those too, but... Yeah. yeah, but I'm not a big fan of them. Right. Anyway. And we can't consider M&M's anything in the no, candy bar that's category. Can- that's like candy. It's a... It's a Chocolate-covered candy. Yeah. Candy-covered chocolate. I will say this much. In my top ten, and I'm not putting them in any particular way. Right, because it's going to be hard. I would throw Twix in there. I would throw the Cadbury uh, chocolate bar, you know, raisins and nuts. And never had that. You never seen the Cadbury chocolate almond? No, but raisins? I see the Cadbury chocolate bunny. Yeah. Well, I would have the Cadbury one in there because Cadbury chocolate usually tastes better than most of the Hershey and all that. Even though I'd throw the Hershey almond bar in there. Oh, they're almond, yeah. yeah. Snickers, a baby roof, chunky. Raisin, nut, peanuts, raisin. Uh, what else is there? Oh, wow. Mr. Good Bar, which is another peanut and chocolate. Yeah, that's, good. that's a good one, though. Uh, Nestle's uh, white chocolate and almond. Well, I thought you were just going with the regular crunch. And no. You really went far. No, I don't like the crunch. I don't mind the crunch. I don't mind it, but I don't particularly like it, you know. I got some of the ones you want. Milky Way, maybe. Uh-huh. Throw it in there. Yeah. One that you didn't have, whatchamacallit. Yeah, I know. It's I'd pretty good. Of it. It's all right. Uh, I did like the Twix one, even though some people consider it like a cookie bar. But yeah. I like it. It's still a bar. a bar and yeah. it's candy. Yeah. Uh, definitely Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth. Had a Baby Ruth. Let me tell you, ago. Baby Ruth, if you take it and freeze it, just freeze it, get it nice and, you know, almost Hard. completely frozen, oh. you know, and then eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going. <laughs> yeah, Baby Ruth's good. Twix, whatchamacallits, which I don't see too many. Watch, I haven't had a whatchamacallit. Yeah. I don't know, whatchamacallit years. But, uh. I imagine Willy Wonka's chocolate bars would be good, but I don't mind good. Hershey regular Hershey, but it's just too plain. But Hershey almonds, or I like the dark Hershey. Yeah, That's dark awesome. Hershey's good. Uh, and I would throw that in my category what's the too. Her- crackle is kind of like Nestle Crunch. Yeah, it's Hershey's Crunch Crackle. That's it's all right. Uh, yeah, that's about it. You didn't like the Chunky bar. Chunky was all right. It just wasn't one of my top. I don't think those are my favorites. I, I'm amazed that me and you both like the Baby Roof better than any of them. That's because that, if I was going to name number one, Baby yeah. Roof. Snickers, I like Snickers. I like Snickers, uh, but Baby Roof's special. Whatchamacallit's special to me. Twix is really special. Mm-hmm. It's just something about the, the cookie, but the chocolate mm-hmm. and stuff that's in that. It's like, well. Caramel. I, I eat a whole shit. They get the little mini Twixes. I mm-hmm. eat a whole shit of them. Man, I got sick one time. Baby Roof, though. I mean, that that's my favorite. It's got the but, nugget. Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Not too right. big of a fan of Butterfingers, though. I mean, it's got peanuts. It's got nugget. It's got chocolate. It's got caramel. Yeah. It's just real. Now, the hundred grand bar. Yeah, they're all right. Yeah, the hundred grand bar. Um, I remember those. They don't, they're not as big as they used to be, though. No. I don't know who the hell made that. They also have the peanut one. That was a peanut bar, you know. Yeah. I uh, remember Reggie. I don't know if you remember. They had them down here. Reggie Jackson bar. Yeah. It was Reggie like Jackson. round. It almost looked like a. Oh, you don't think they would have it down here? You know, Southern. You think yeah. so, uh, the Florida would be racist about that? About not have it? New York Yankees, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe you. <laughs> they had it. But it, it lasted like a year or two. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, but my favorite is Baby Roof. Right There's off some the other sports players. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the Cadbury, like I said, the Cadbury ones I told you about. Because yeah. the chocolate seems a lot smoother, richer, and, and you know, flavorful. <sighs> but Baby Roof, I mean, looks like a turd, but tastes like paradise. You know, I don't know. Mm. Tastes like 
joy, I guess. Yeah, Baby Ruth, just with the nuts in it, and it just tastes great. And then I forget what movie that was when they threw the Baby Ruth in the pool and everybody got scared. So I was a Stand shit. by me? Or was uh, it was it no. Caddyshack? I can't remember. Oh, like, man. Like, Baby Ruth, thrown in pool. Yeah, let's look at this. What movie was the Baby Ruth thrown in the pool? Caddyshack. Caddyshack. Yeah. Right. According to YouTube, Caddyshack, 1980. A Baby Ruth candy bar gets knocked into Bushwood Country Club swimming pool and is mistaken for duty. Bill Murray as Luffy Carl Spackler ends the scene by it. horrifying the snobbish matron supervising the pool. Mm hmm. It picks up out of the heat. He eats it, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm ready to move on to the next exciting one. We got another coffee, coconut coffee porter. Wow, no, we need to make our own baby Ruth porter. Yeah, baby Ruth porter. I yeah. mean, if you could come up with a beer, tastes like baby Ruth. Yeah. I got another one that if you taste like a woman, man, that beer would be. <sighs> would it taste different all the time, or? Oh yeah, different women. You go. You'd have one that'd be like uh, one has douche or clean like four months. White woman. <laughs> white woman. Or light. Oh, light. We'll go with the light because it doesn't sound racist. Yeah. Light. Light skin. Yeah, we call it a certain beer light. Oh. Then we we'll have dark. You take different races or vaginas taste. And different. then we'll say brown. Yeah, they do. I think so too. Yeah. And you know what? Oh, my friend. Yeah. You know, even different, even the same race but different country. I think it tastes different too. Mm -hmm. The older, but it's stuff they eat, I guess. I don't know. Hey, who? Yeah, every different white woman. There's 85 people on here, and you're not even looking to see the comments. Yeah, D different white women. Mm -hmm. Will taste different too, America. You can get a white girl down the road here from Plant City and a white girl from Dade City. They might taste different because of probably their diet. You're baiting me. But overall, if you get a totally different nationality, like from a Jamaica, India, oh, India, Panama, me, you're baiting me. United Kingdom. They all yeah. taste different. They all got a weird mm -hmm. taste to them. Or not weird, but a different. Yeah. Yeah. It's like different chickens. All right. Smells like tuna, but tastes like different drink chicken. Your beer. Tastes like different chickens. Yeah, drink your beer. Drink your beer. You like that one? You yeah. like that one? Yeah, I liked it. I loved it. Smells like tuna, tastes like tuna. I just said smells like tuna, mm. tastes like different chickens. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, look at that. He finished it up, folks. Challenge accepted. All right, let's move on to the next one so we can, you know, get a few more beers in, you know? Yeah. Before it gets too late. We're going kind of slow tonight for some reason. Right? Yeah. Why is that? I, I think it's because uh, your senility. Oh, we did three shots of eggnog, though. <gasps> Unfortunately, yes. And that's six beers. And now, if we would have mixed the eggnog with the coconut coffee, no, no, no. that would have been good. No. We should have been doing this stuff. No. Well, that's six beers, but we only did, what, one double? Yeah, one double. One beer, so one, two, three, four, five singles. That's two and a half beers apiece. With one. Three and a half beers yeah. apiece. Uh -huh. That's all we've done. Like, that's why I probably don't feel that drunk right now. I know. I mean, I Plus the three shots of eggnog. Yeah, now that's where you get it. A little bit, but I'm not really that bad. Yeah. Technically. All right. Well, that was Funky Buddha Last Snow Ale with Natural Flavors of Coconut and Coffee Porter. You heard it here for us first. I'm telling you right now, if you like the flavors of coconut and coffee or... Uh, you might give that a 99. A uh, Almond Joy. That's my best yeah. reference. Yeah. For those who do not know what they're looking for. Right. That right there would be my best description. Yeah, it's pretty good. I would have given it a 99 like most of the reviewers do, do on Beer Africa, but it's pretty good, actually. Give it a shot. I mean, it's worth at least the shot. You know? Yeah. Give it a try, then, at the very least. And if you don't like it, you can always send it to us at the Spitterswall Beer Review. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
at gmail.com or yahoo.com. Care package. The Spitter Swallow Beer Review at yahoo.com and care of Jammer. <laughs> and we will proceed to give you the address and everything for you to send it to us. Yeah. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking, and sharing. And just hit that little notification bell for us. Just go up there and just hit it. Click it. Click it. All right. Do it. That's Shagdog the Elf. I am Jammer the Claws. Claws in our contract. <laughs> uh, Jammer see. Claws. St. Nick, Santa himself. All right. Beer Claws. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.